Hello, I'm Wilson Bateman. I'd like to take a minute, just two minutes actually, to talk about frustration. And when you look at the human factors that increase the likelihood of error, you can see that we talk about irritation, frustration, and anger. So the idea is these factors do increase the likelihood of error. And when you start thinking about error, what are we really talking about? Well, we're talking about a slip or a lapse or a, 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 an error, a mistake, a violation. There's lots of things to consider when we start to look at errors. So I want to jump in, leave irritation and anger for a second, and just focus in on frustration. And when you think about frustration, the question you have to ask yourself, what is it? What is frustration? And how frustrated do I get sometimes? So the idea is, it's a personal thing when you start to think about frustration. Some people are frustrated very quickly. If you didn't get a lot of sleep last night, well, maybe that has an impact. Maybe you're starting to get a little irritated and you're becoming frustrated a little easier today because of fatigue. You didn't get a lot of sleep last night. So when you start to think about frustration, what we try to do is dive in a little deeper. What is it? Frustration has to do with expectation. So my expectation is I'm going to hop in my vehicle and I'm going to get home in 15 minutes. If I get stuck in traffic, I'm not expecting that. A goal has been blocked in a sense and all of a sudden now I get frustrated. Well, what do we call it? We call it road rage, don't we? We even have a name for frustration on the road. Now, some people can get stuck in traffic and it doesn't bother them at all. Others, all of a sudden, bang, a little traffic and they're in trouble. They're very frustrated, so much so that they're venting that, str that frustration by gesturing to other people. I'm just curious, any bird flippers out there? You know who you are. It's not easy, is it? It's not easy. Sometimes you don't see the irritation. We're right into frustration and we're wrestling with it. It's interesting when you also look at the research. The research suggests in North America, we have a low frustration tolerance. So the idea today is just getting you thinking about it. When you go out there today to perform a task, ask yourself before you even start, what could cause frustration for you doing, during this task? Could it be the task itself, the tools that you're working with, uh, maybe it's the people, unfortunately, that you're working with. Maybe that frustration is internal because you didn't get enough sleep last night. So the idea today is when you're out there performing a task, think a little bit about frustration and, hey, be safe out there.